Hi, I'm Danny Olish from Harman. I'm on the CMI booth here at Entech in Melbourne in 2018. We're going through some of the new Soundcraft features on the UI24. So the UI24 is a surfaceless mixer. It has some features that other mixers don't have. For example, it's all HTML5, so you don't actually need an app to download. The server is built into the UI24, and you can just operate it from practically any device with a web browser. You can also connect a screen, a HDMI screen, directly to the UI24, so you don't even need a device or a computer. It has LAN, Wi-Fi 2.4 gig, and 5 gig. It gives you 28 virtual ch channels with 22 inputs and 14 assignable outputs, a 22-channel recorder and player, a two-track recorder and player, as well as a 32x32 32 32 audio interface. 20 mic frees are designed by Studio for us. Fantastic quality. The front two inputs here, one and two, also have Digitech Amplifier simulation built in. But one of the biggest things is the speed and the ability of the UI itself. So this is a normal HTML5 page running in a browser. So all I do is I type in the IP address and this is the GUI that you will see. I'm gonna play some multi-track at the moment. As you can see, it's very, very fast to navigate through. To go to any channel, you can just click on the meters and that will take me directly to the channel I need to go to. On inputs, you have delays, and phase reverse, 48 volt phantom power. You then have gate and compression. You have a four band parametric with high and low cut filters, as well as a DSA, an RTA. And then the sense, you have 10 OG sense, that 10 of them could be matrix as well, with delays, 31 band graphic, compressor limiters, and automatic feedback suppression by DBX, as well as four assignable lexicon processors. A few of the other wonderful features about it, you got dual automix channels here which each channel A or B group can have eight devices, eight channels assigned to it. We have VCAs assignable, subgroups assignable, view groups assignable, so on any device you can select the type of view you want to see and the order of the channels you want to see them in and by a single click you can actually see only the devices and channels you want on the screen at the same time. If we go to your output section, if I go to my output section, like to the master and to my EQ, you can see it in a small view or I can go into a big view. RTA, built in AFS and very quite easily see all the channels, high pass filters and low pass filters there as well. Patching. We go to our patching page. The hardware outputs from DSP can be patched to any physical outputs. If I wanted headphone number one to be OGS 9 and mono, I can just patch it directly here and assign it in mono. All I need to do first is stop my multi-track player, which is here. Then I can go and start doing my patching. There's OGS 9 is going to headphone one, OGS 10 and mono to headphone two, or if I want OGS 9 and 10 to go in stereo, I can even patch that in stereo. All your channels can be patched, and input channels can be patched to multiple DSP channels, and you can then add delays and stereo effects. Basically, allowing you to do a lot of features that are on very, very large consoles, but in your HTML5 device. Enjoy.